In this video, we'll demonstrate how to wire the LED ceiling lamp holder with occupancy sensor. This device automatically senses movement to turn lights on and off and is ideal for closets and other areas where lights are inadvertently left on. It also saves energy by using a low energy, long lasting LED light. Have the following tools on hand a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, a handheld voltage tester, and properly sized wire connectors. Warning. To avoid fire, shock, or death, be sure to turn off the power at the circuit breaker or fuse and test that power is off before wiring a device. Use a handheld voltage tester to confirm there is no power flowing. This device is equipped with pigtail leads, which are short, flexible wires. Terminating them requires tying them together to the existing wiring coming out of the ceiling box. To prepare the lamp holder for installation, remove the bezel by turning it counterclockwise until the tick marks don't line up. This product incorporates four mounting holes to position for maximum coverage. When mounting on a three and a quarter inch ceiling box, use the inner mounting holes on the base of the lamp holder. When mounting on a four inch box, use the outer mounting holes. The sensor, which is the smaller of the two round casings, should face the room or closet entry for maximum field of view. Partially screw in the two long mounting screws provided into the ceiling box. The LED lamp holder with occupancy sensor requires a neutral wire to operate. This is usually a white wire. It also requires a ground connection, which is usually a green or bare copper wire. If there is not a neutral or ground wire present, consult an electrician. The ends of the wires on the device have been prepared so that a small piece of insulation can be easily removed and expose the correct amount of conductor needed for terminating. With your fingers, pull firmly on this insulation to remove the pre-stripped section. Next, twist the exposed stranded copper wiring in a clockwise direction in order to prepare it to be terminated. Remove the insulation and twist the stranded copper for all wires you plan to terminate. Hold firmly on the conductor coming out of the ceiling box together with the corresponding color of the exposed conductor of the device's pigtail and twist in a clockwise direction. With the conductors twisted together, insert them into a properly sized wire connector and twist the wire connector until the conductors bottom out inside the connector and cannot be twisted further. The wires are now terminated. Give the wires a tug to ensure that they are firmly held in the wire connector. Dress the terminated wires with electrical tape to ensure stability before the device is installed in the ceiling box. Follow this exact same procedure for all necessary terminations. Mount the lamp holder base on the ceiling box by placing it over the mounting screws and rotating it clockwise for the 4 inch box or counterclockwise for the three and a quarter inch box. Tighten the mounting screws. If you're using power tools, ensure that they are set to a low torque setting. Install the bezel by pushing in and twisting clockwise until the tick marks line up and it locks into place. Restore the power at the circuit breaker and test. The LED indicator will blink on, off when motion is detected. When no motion is detected, the LED indicator will stop blinking and the light will turn off after three minutes. For more information on the LED ceiling lamp holder with occupancy sensor, visit levitin.com sensors.